Hi, this is Grant Brevner. Watch my interview on Hibernian TV. Grant, welcome back to Easter Road. When was the last time you were here at the stadium? Well, I suppose uh, as a fan, I was here more recently. Uh, every time I come home, uh, I tend to come along and watch a game. Um, obviously, in the dark days of playing for Dundee United, I returned and, and played against Hibs, but uh, certainly the most memorable were, were the times as a player. Talk us through your first spell here while on loan. Um, how did that come about and what are your recollections at that time? Um, well, it was certainly, I think, all through Alec McLeish's association with um, Sir Alex that, that that one came about. Um, Hibs were obviously struggling at the time, league position-wise, and uh, they were looking for a, a midfielder of sorts. And uh, Alec McLeish had taken me at under-21 level, um, kind of knew what I was about as a player, so so plucked uh, in the transfer market to come in for me on loan. How pleased were you to come back here to Edinburgh? Obviously, you were from Danderhall originally. Was it a case of just coming home back to play football? Yeah, it, you know, it was a funny thing because um, Hearts had actually came in um, for me on loan previous to the Hibs one, and uh, Alec Ferguson did not even tell me about it. It was only when Hibs came in and he knew because we used to have a lot of conversations. Was because Alex Ferguson's brother was involved with the club at the time, Martin, um, about Hibs results on the weekend. So he got me into the office told me about um, the Hibs loan deal and uh, I was in the car within half an hour, bags packed and up the road. And I'll never forget driving up the M6, it was just, it just hit me, you know, that I was going to be playing for Hibs and um, Edinburgh derbies and, and it was just a fantastic feeling. Obviously when you were a youth player, were you ever on the brink of maybe signing for Hibs? I know United have got a good scouting network here in the area, obviously Darren Fletcher is still there. So was it a case of a straight decision between Hibs and United or what was the scenario there? Yeah, well look, at in my sort of early teenage years, I'd, I'd been travelling down to Man United every school holidays, as most of the players do, you know, that are, are involved with the club. Um, and yep, Hibs were certainly around and, and I had been talking to them. Alex Miller was, was the manager at the time, but... I think when Man United come knocking, um, it's, it's an opportunity that you don't want to, you know, not have. So um, they had been good to, good to me during my time uh, as a kid. And uh, when the opportunity came to go full time, it was, uh, it was an easy option for me, really. Right. Obviously, just talking about your time then here at Hibs, when you came back on a permanent basis, w was it just the case of Alec McLeish telling you that he, he wanted you here full time? Yeah, yeah. well, they, they came back in for me um, while I was at Reading. And uh, while, my, while my time at Reading was good and, and I had a good spell at Reading um, initially, um, Hibs being back in the Premier League um, was certainly the draw card. Um, and that's one thing with players now, you know, I don't want to get into it, but players dropping down divisions to play for Rangers in the, you know, the, the lower divisions, it's, it's, it doesn't, I don't get that. You know, you want to play at a high level, you want to play in the top leagues. And, and I, my decision came down to wanting to play in England. And when Hibs went down, it was a case that, look, I want to play um, at the highest possible level, um, and then when Hibs came back up into the Premier League, I know I know a lot of fans have a you know a little bit of problem with leaving, but it was purely just wanting to play at a high level. Um, and then when Hibs were back in the league, it was it was a no-brainer to come back. What do you remember about those times then? Because it was a fantastic team, wasn't it? That you, you were playing in Frank Soze, Russell Latterby, yep. Dirk Lehman. There's quite a few players that even now supporters still yep. tr sort of cherish and treasure those memories. Yeah, well, it's just um, when you look at football now, um, you know, we were privileged back then to have to, to come and watch a club, foremost as a fan. You know, I was a, I was a player, but I was also a fan. Um, and, yeah, look, I think certainly my happiest times um, were playing with Frank and, and Russell and uh, Dirk and Matthias Jack and um, got Skalski in the goalie. It was just a really good time to be at the club um, because Scottish football was, was really in a boom um, back then. So it was, uh, yeah, it was good. It seemed like as if there was a good spirit around the club right then as well, that everyone's trained with a smile on their face. What are the kind of funny stories that you can remember from your time uh, um, with Hibs? Oh, like I think it was probably pre-Frank and Russell's time um, when, when John Hughes and Sean Dennis were around the club. They were certainly the ones that uh, would, would get the pranks and the, the silliness happening around the dressing room and uh, I think a little bit brushed off on me as I got a little bit older because there's certainly a little bit of yogi in me around the dressing rooms. Because one of uh, Hughes' famous stories is nailing Dirk Lehmann's boots to the floor with a rather 
stories that ever came to light? Yeah, oh, it was just more so, yeah, they were just off the cuff things with, with Yogi. I mean, um, I was his biggest fan in the dressing room. I loved him in the dressing room. Um, he was certainly one that, as a captain, um, he was he was straight down the line and, and he could actually get more out of his players. Um, but then when, when the time was off and there was a little bit of pressure around the team, you know, whether it was results or, or needing to get into top sixes or or you know, finish third or anything like that, cup final runs, um, he was certainly a player that was good to have in the dressing room and take the pressure away from you. Do you feel that it was the right blend, the right balance within that team in terms of overseas imports like Soze, Latapi, Lehman, we mentioned quite a few, and obviously home ground, well, Edinburgh, local lads as well, because obviously yourself, obviously you mentioned John Hughes and Kenny Miller was coming into the team as well. I think the blend probably came from the youthfulness that was um, the Edinburgh boys. We were all eager to, to look up to these, um, we'll call them stars, because they were stars um, that had played at bigger levels and, and came and played for Hibs and were doing for t fantastically well. So I think it was more along the lines of the youngsters were learning so much of the older players um, and the blend was, was working.